na gana man penyina be de yechire a ono kura sesia de oyɛ frag bearer edema new patriotic party on wonyam for dr alaji mahmud baumia na okasa e wo 57th congregation edema kwa menkroma university of science and technology na no ene wo chire mu se ade esan ade achi nyina no e wo sen sakraye e ba kwan e fa so e ye ye niamma na e bia mfie be ye duenum ni se ne na ye si ye ye niamma no ye koso se be ye na sa enya ade a ye betimi enya ade papa bia enu nti e na abefu kwan so a ye fa so e de ye ade e no e wo se me ye anti sad digitalization concept ah what the abano a ya dia e here pa and no and no fisa and was set of mine on yes near to tuni ye and nunti and a mpp a buying a buy a nana a do danko a kufu a do a fast so say wa moon yet and sakra yes a bea or mine a bit me too and pong after many years of study and practice as an economist i came to the conclusion that ghana like many other African countries, has been trying to develop with underlying systems that are very weak. We have a highly informal economy. We have no unique identification for the population. Our citizens could not be properly and uniquely identified. We do not have a functioning property address system. The majority of our population was excluded from the financial system with no access to bank account. This has a direct impact on financial savings, interest rates, and economic growth. The majority of the population is also not identified for tax purposes. In 2017, when we came into office, only 4% of the adult population of Ghana had a tax identification number. So you can't tell who has filed their taxes or who has not filed their taxes. Without a property address system, the collection of property taxes was also problematic. These underlying systems need disruption for us to rejig the whole system. Our strategy since 2017 has been to build a new system through digital transformation. And in the process, we are really building a new Ghana. Information, communication technology, and accurate statistics and data are the heartbeat of every economy, particularly for the knowledge-based economy that we are building. Ghana's commitment to digital innovation is evident in the initiatives aimed at fostering a knowledge economy. And no etchino. Vice Chancellor Edema Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Professor Mrs. Rita Akosia Dixon, and also Ekasachi Remuse. I am happy to inform this August Assembly that during the period under review, the university won a total of 15 million US dollars through the following distinguished faculty members and staff whose research works are acclaimed globally. Professor Samson Entry of the Department of Child Health, Dr. Cyril Boating of the D Department of Physics, Dr. Kojo Owusu Akufu of the Department of Optometry and Visual Science, Mr. Courage Julius Loga of the University Information Technology Services, UITS, and many, many more grants that came in. Research continues to dominate our attention, and as a research-intensive institution, we continue to invest in both infrastructure and equipment towards creating an enabling environment for cutting-edge research.